This is gonna be a fun one. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going through a bunch of Pokemon Go accessories that you didn't know you needed. I'll be honest, in this video, we do cover some things that are pretty obvious, but there's a lot of other Pokemon Go accessories that you might not know you needed as a Pokemon Go trainer and can be very useful. If you've ever been out on those super hot days, those Go Fest days, those egg grilling on the pavement kind of days, and your phone just it just says no. Well, in comes the phone cooler. A phone cooler is pretty simple. It pretty much just has a fan on the back. This is a Razer phone cooler. You can go ahead and turn it on. Got a little bit of cool RGB light. And the fan will pretty much just start going on the back. Then there's this pad on the back that gets super cold from the fan. Ooh, she's frosty. You'll pretty much take your phone, stick this onto the back of it, and then there you go. She starts cooling down the battery of the phone so your phone doesn't overheat on the super hot days. Couple downfalls with this product. First of all, it does come connected and you do have to have it connected to a power source, which means you're gonna have to have it connected to a power bank the whole time. It does just simply connect with a USB port. It is pretty loud. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but she does get going. Now this right here is the MagSafe version. It's made for iPhone MagSafe, so you can just simply just stick it on the back of an iPhone. Obviously I don't have an iPhone and I bought this because originally I thought I could get a MagSafe sticker, but it doesn't work. But there is another version with a clamp, a very simple clamp, you can clamp it onto your phone. One thing to note though, is you cannot have a case active when you're running this specific version because this pad actually needs to be touching the phone itself and it can't have that thick layer of the case blocking the coldness from hitting it. Honest though, pretty useful for those super hot days and people who wanna get, you know, the highest quality gameplay without their phone overheating. That's it, number one, phone cooler. By the way, I'll link below all these products below. Okay, number two, and you guys are gonna laugh at me for this one. Bruh. This right here is probably the best thing ever created. An umbrella hat is literally, let me zoom this out. Yo, this is crazy. Now, a lot of people are gonna be like, yo, Dax, what are you talking about? This looks like the stupidest thing. This umbrella hat right here will save you in so many scenarios. This thing can double as two uses. Number one, yo, it's raining. I can still play Pokemon Go. I'm out here throwing the Pokeball, not even getting cold, not even getting wet or anything like that. Also, it's a hot day, super hot, super sunny. You wanna stay in the cool, you wanna stay in the shade. You throw on the umbrella hat, it's a two for one. It's not even expensive. You might look super stupid doing it, but you know what? I don't even care. I'm trying to get those shundos. I don't know about you guys, but this is a play. A lot of people are gonna be like, yo Dax, there's no way that works. No way that keeps you dry. Well, luckily enough, I did test it out. Check out this clip right now of me testing it in some pretty intense rain. I'm actually pretty dry. <laughs> it actually, it actually keeps me completely dry. <laughs> what do you think, Dax? Honestly, great product. I am not getting hit by the rain at all. I could see if it was a little windy, it could be a problem. <laughs> you could fly out. <laughs> yeah, I could fly away. Or if the rain is hard enough coming from an angle, it could be bad. Is my back wet? Nope. No. Works pretty well. So yeah, guys, the umbrella hat, don't sleep on it. I'm sure you could get a smaller size than this as well. This is a pretty big size, but you know, it's got that reflective too, so it doesn't absorb too much heat. It's honestly a play, guys. Don't sleep on it. Definitely worth checking out. Bruh. Okay, we're gonna calm down for a second here, go to a more, you know, obvious product, a battery pack. Now, obviously, if you're gonna be playing Pokemon Go for a long time, a battery pack is going to be an essential thing you want to have. I'm gonna link below the one I use, it's an Anchor. It's pretty heavy duty. This thing can charge my phone like probably 20 times over, like never runs out of battery, but it is heavier. You can obviously go for a cheaper, smaller battery pack, which might be better, so it's a little bit lighter on you, but very good. And then also you wanna make sure you have a good wire. So you can plug into the battery pack and throw the battery pack in your backpack or whatever, and then have the other end come out, you plug it in, you know, and then laughing all the way to the bank. However, I think I've been thinking of a play because the biggest issue I have with battery packs, hauling the thing around and having that extra piece of equipment. The thing I like most when I go out to play Pokemon Go is having the least amount of things I could possibly need. And the more I'm throwing in my backpack, the heavier my back's gonna be, the less long I can be out before my feet start hurting or something like that. Have you guys ever seen those phone cases, but they actually have a battery pack built inside them? Now, I don't have one with me, but I think that would be a very good accessory for any Pokemon Go trainer. It pretty much allows you to get that extra little juice you need, that extra power you need for one playing Pokemon Go for longer times, but without having to deal with the extra weight of a battery pack. I've even seen certain ones that are not even a full case, but just a little thing you plug into the bottom of your phone, gives you a little extra juice, gets you that little extra you need to finish that community day before your phone dies. One of my biggest issues I have sometimes when playing Pokemon Go, holding the phone for long periods of time, having your phone in a strenuous position, you might be like, oh, Dax, you're so lazy. I'm, trust me, holding a phone for a long time, it can kind of hurt the wrist a little bit. Well, I found two different solutions for this. Number one, and shout out to Fleece King for this, but this is going to be 
a running armband for your phone, but it can actually rotate. Let me show you how it works. So I pretty much strapped this thing on my wrist like this. Now you can put your phone in the wristband, rotate it to any direction, and now don't even have to hold the phone. It's literally just sitting in there. Bang, I'm going around, I'm playing Pokemon Go, you know, I'm gonna go throw a Pokeball, catch some Pokemon. It's honestly pretty cool. Now I'll be honest, this is more useful for me because of a streamer. So yeah, I have, you know, this is my main phone I'm playing and then my, uh, the YouTube chat is here so I can kind of read chat and, you know, interact with you guys. That's the main reason I use it, but I'm sure plenty of people can find uses for this. Let's say, you know, you don't really want to actually have to hold your phone or there's something else you want to hold. You want to hold your battery pack so it's nice and close. And then you, you really never have to hold your phone and you just have it in your wrist the whole time. Honestly, I don't know exactly how you could use it, but I'm sure you guys can come up with cool little things to do with this little wristband. A link below, check it out. You can even actually remove phone part of it. So this is what holds the phone and you can kind of like put it back in. Pretty cool product. Number two solution to this is going to be a pop socket. I don't have one on me, but I know a lot of people like to use pop sockets. It can be nice because when you're holding a phone like this for a long period of time, it's nice to just have the pop socket in the back. So all you really need is like two fingers between the pop socket to hold it. I've heard a lot of people like to use them. I am not the biggest fan of pop sockets just because of the fact that when you're not playing Pokemon Go, it's kind of just an annoying thing to have on your phone and you can't put your phone flat on the desk. Now I'm a proud member of Team Fanny over Team Backpack, especially for Pokemon Go. When you go out to play Pokemon Go, except if it's like a day like Go Fest or something like that, you usually don't need the most resources. Having a water bottle is nice, having a battery pack, all this stuff is really nice, but usually you don't need the most stuff. I think any casual Pokemon Go player who's not gonna be out for like a crazy amount of time, it's nice to have a fanny pack or any sort of like purse or backpack. I usually do that, you know, check out the style. No, I'm kidding. In this fanny pack, just go ahead, throw this in, throw the phone, you know, throw in whatever I I need, close it up, and then there you go. I got everything I need for the day. You can wear it like the rock if you'd like to. Me, I prefer over the shoulder. But honestly, an accessory you definitely need for Pokemon Go is gonna be any sort of backpack. I'm team Fanny, you can go with backpack if you'd like. I just think Fannies are just a better size and shape for Pokemon Go and allow you to get quick access to things you might need during the day. Okay, do you live up north or in places that get really cold during the winter? Well, there's two things I recommend for you. Number one is going to be a good pair of touchscreen gloves. Me, myself, I use North Face E-tips. They work amazing. Honestly, the best touchscreen gloves I've ever used. Your fingers pretty much work like if you weren't wearing gloves. However, the problem is if it does get super, super cold, you might have to switch to a thicker glove. I know Burton has some decent ones, but some nice thick gloves that can keep you warm, but still allow you to play Pokemon Go on the phone. At one point when it becomes like lower than negative 10, I find it almost becomes impossible to play Pokemon Go outside. But I do have a full video breaking down the best gloves to use at each temperature. I'll link below it if you want to check it out. Also, hand warmer is going to be a go-to. Regular hand warmers will work well. Little ones that you can throw in your gloves, all that stuff to keep you warm. But me, myself, I use this little thing. You might be like, what is this? Well, this is actually a power bank that doubles as a hand warmer. You can go ahead and turn this device on. Now there are lights here. You can see there's three little levels of lights, the little orange light here. That'll show how warm this thing gets. And then this black part here will heat up. I love to hold this in my catch hand to keep it warm when I'm playing during the winter. I know it's pretty much summertime, so no one's really gonna be buying these things, but it's still good to know for the future. And the last item, and it's honestly an obvious item, and honestly it would be number one accessory you need overall, but definitely people already know they need this. It's an auto catcher. Honestly, before you buy any of these random cool gadgets that obviously could help your health, but uh, I would definitely go ahead and get an auto catcher. There's so many on the markets. I have, you know, the dual mons, I have the gotchas here in my hand. I have the uh, Pokeball Plus, the official one from Pokemon Go. If you wanna get a deep dive into auto catchers, I'll link below my full guide breaking down all the auto catchers. That video is a little bit old, so some of those models are a little bit outdated. Specifically, the dual catch mon was updated to the duo mon. But if you wanna check out my duo mon review, the new version, I will link that below as well. All in all, the number one accessory is always going to be an auto catcher. It allows you to play the game so much faster, spin stops without having to spin them. You can even throw Pokeballs at Pokemon without needing you to actually do it. Comment below out of all the products, which one you like the most. Honestly, I'm, I really like the hat umbrella. I think it's a play. If you guys are walking around Ottawa, you might see me sometimes in the rain grinding with that thing on. Again, check out the link below if you want to buy any of these products. And if you have any cool products that you think are very useful for other trainers, let me know below. Maybe we'll do a part two of this video. Have an amazing rest of your day and follow for this one. Peace. Mm -hmm.